Good morning from Valencia. I am just having such a good time here in Spain. I came from Barcelona yesterday and I got to Valencia around midnight and it's a new day. Hola. Hola. Yeah, I got here yesterday at midnight and this morning I woke up so tired but I am ready for the day now. I got some really nice sandwich in this brunch place. Um, and now I'm just gonna explore the city a little bit, like just chill, like in a very chill way. The hostel offered us like a map of like an actual route to follow to see like the best places in Valencia. And I like the fact that most of them are free. <laughs> because i don't know barcelona is super expensive so like coming to valencia and like knowing that all the touristy places are cheap it's like a dream come true so I feel like not a lot of people talk about how exhausting and tiring traveling can be. I am definitely someone that takes more of a backpacking approach when it comes to travel. I really do like to travel to a city and be able to go to all the touristy places, all the museums, all the possible places that I could explore in a city. And I definitely lean more towards museums, art related places, culture. And I feel like this trip to Valencia was really challenging for me because my body, my mind and everything was really telling me to slow down. And I felt like I didn't have enough time. I wanted to see everything. That's what made this trip so beautiful because I was able to just slow down. I feel like when it comes to travel, I am just in a go, go, go mode and I want to see everything and sometimes it's really hard to enjoy the moment and really stay present. And I think in Valencia, I didn't get to see everything, not even half of what I had planned, but I really enjoyed the places that I went to. I think that was a beautiful experience and different approach to traveling that I got to experience in Valencia and I definitely want to go back to Valencia because I feel like I still have so much that I need to see.
Holy chicken, no? Sí. I've never tried before, so like... It's typical uh, chicken and rabbit, uh, but uh, because no, no problem. Uh, uh, foreign people only chicken. Yeah, I only because chicken. the rabbit, the, I think uh, they think uh, pet. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes. No, uh, no, only only chicken. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys. I am now in this restaurant, in this local restaurant, and I'm, I'm gonna try paella, paella for the first time. And basically, it is supposed to have rabbit in it, but I said like, I don't know, rabbit's like it's weird for me to eat rabbit. Like I, I think the fact that they told me like there is rabbit in it. I don't know, it's weird now, like I, I, but anyways, and I've been exploring the city, but at the same time, like I'm not doing much, because I think in Barcelona, I walked around a little bit too much, and because it's like a very busy city, I feel like in Barcelona, I felt like I wanted to explore more, but here is like more of like a chilled city, like people don't do too much. I don't know if you can hear me, but I hope you do. Um, I went to the park and like just to read a book. I think because also I'm moving back. I'm going back to Lisbon tomorrow. Um, I'm trying to not do too much so I don't like end the trip like exhausted. So yeah, I am here in this local restaurant and I'm gonna try paella, paella, paella. And yeah, that's Hey guys, I just finished eating the paella and it was literally the best dish. Literally the best dish I tried in Spain. It was the Valenciana, the paella Valenciana. It was so good. It was supposed to come with rabbit, but <laughs> what do you mean rabbit? Um, so yeah. Honestly, like I think Valencia is more of like a more relaxed city than I'm used to. So it's almost like I feel like I have to just embrace the slow life. I'm just like not doing too much, but I would definitely come back here for long for a longer period of time, like for like two weeks, and just like just be here. But anyways, I just finished eating. I have to go back to the hostel to take my power bank and go to the Ciudad, the Arts and Science, I think. I don't know if that's how you call it, but... I remember the days when I used to overthink things like this, like traveling by myself, doing things on my own, going on solo dates. And the fact that now 
those things come so effortlessly for me like I basically go on solo dates all the time I've been traveling on my own for almost a year now it's definitely a full circle moment and I am so happy that I get to document this self-discovery journey but I feel like most of the times um, whenever I'm traveling or doing things by myself I make it so aesthetic so beautiful and pleasing that it almost takes away the reality of it doing things by yourself like being by yourself in a foreign country with a different language and it is so scary it is uncomfortable and I like to share that side of it but there's no better feeling than going through this self-discovery journey and making these memories and stories for myself and really becoming the best version I can be. I am so happy I got to experience a very slow living, slow type of lifestyle in Valencia. I really hope I get to go back to Valencia one day. And until then, I will happily live with the memory of Valencia, a very slow, relaxed trip that I had, and I'm so glad and grateful I got to experience it.